the United Kingdom's Minister for Africa, James Doddridge, has blamed the recurrent insecurity in Nigeria more on lack of arable land and water occasioned by the effect of climate change. According to Mr. Doddridge, the issues of insecurity which are linked to climate change will be elaborated during the Glasgow Climate Change Conference 2021, tagged COP26. But the broader point of, of, of a lot of this conflict, whether it's uh, the Fulani in, in Nigeria or, or the Sahel, it's about land and it's about resource. Um, and that resource is contracting with climate change. Um, so the UK government are very keen through COP26 to highlight the problems in Africa that uh, are bearing the brunt of climate change, you know, the shrinking of, 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 of Lake Chad, the desertification uh, of, of potentially arable uh, land. The UK Minister for Africa noted that from the Edda's crisis in Nigeria or Sahel to other crises, a common denominator was lack of arable lands and water. Speaking on the challenges facing the continent at large, he said Africa is bearing the brunt of climate change, the shrinking of the Lake Chad, the desertification of potentially arable land, and to make sure people have sustainable futures. Nigeria's climate has been changing, evident in increases in temperature, variable rainfall, rise in sea level, and flooding drought and desertification, land degradation, more frequent extreme weather events, affected fresh water resources and loss of biodiversity. Climate affects the risk of violence within countries and as global temperatures climb, the risk of armed conflict is expected to increase substantially. To address global climate change issues, the United Kingdom will host the COP26 conference. It has been described as the most significant climate event since the 2015 Paris Agreement. President and Prime Ministers from around the world will be reporting back on progress since the Paris Agreement with the hope that there will be some new decisions on how to curb carbon emissions. Kamil Sadiq, CBA TV, Nigeria.